Because I want to talk to you about entrepreneurship. You know, you've built a great business. I mean, according to Trust Pilots, you've got 80, 90,000 businesses that trust you. I mean, it's incredible. For the entrepreneurs watching the show that are maybe having a tough time, Mark, based on not only your prior experience in helping people, but this new experience at the company at Sunwise helping companies. What can you share with the entrepreneurs that are having a tough time? So I've been giving this some thought and I eat, sleep, dream entrepreneurship. I've been doing this entrepreneurship thing since the late 1990s. I know uh, it's hard to imagine a 25 year old being, you know, having been working since the <laughs> uh, late 1990s. Look, you can read any book about entrepreneurship and it'd be hard to argue with any of the tenants that they talk about. I think more importantly, it's the flip side. It's easy when it's easy. It's easy when you step into something and it works. The question is, what happens when it doesn't work? How do you decide to stop the bleeding? When do you say, this is it, I've got to throw in the hat. And I think that's where my experience, you know, in, in investment banking, 17 years, you would buy investment vehicles. Well, let's just talk about stocks briefly. And, you know, you buy a stock, it's at $50, you expect it to go to $100. That's easy. I'm going to double my money. But then the question to the, to the investor is, how much risk are you willing to take? Are you willing to put the $50 in and have it go to zero? And I'll tell you, they all say the same thing. No, absolutely not. But it's interesting that business owners will put money into a business and they're willing to risk it all. And so what happens is they never have enough powder, so to speak, to fire another shot. So it's okay to you know, admit it's not working, but you have to have that in your mind preset. What am I willing to risk? Because my recommendation would be don't risk it all have enough to come back another day. All of my businesses have been bootstrapped. It doesn't take a whole heck of a lot to get a business going. You just have to have something dry, so to speak, the powder to be able to take that next shot. So I think from the entrepreneurship, it's, look, you give it everything you have. I mean, my philosophies were simple. I worked eight till faint and I only worked half days. I worked from eight in the morning till eight at night. That was it. I only would, I said, I'm not going to work more than a half a day. So you give it everything you got, but that's sometimes, look, timing's everything. And sometimes you could have the best idea. I know I've been there. I've had, and we've had good businesses in the past, but we were early. I mean, years early. And I look back now and I say, God, if I had done today what I was doing back then, I wouldn't be having this conversation. So time is everything. I think the key is you got to know when to fold them, as they say. It just sometimes it just doesn't make sense. You're bleeding profusely. 